What's up guys, Felipe with Felipe Fitness here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to develop a great upper back. So if you've had trouble doing so in the past, like I have, uh, then this video, what I'm about to show you, will definitely help you guys out. Um, so, before you actually start this, uh, just so you know, there are gonna be three exercises that you're doing all in a row. So a tri-set or a, I guess you could call it a giant set. Now. What you're gonna need to do this is first, you'll need a uh, seated cable row machine and then a pair of dumbbells. All right, once you've got all that stuff, then you're ready to go. Uh, but the three exercises that you're going to perform are number one, the seated cable face pull. Uh, number two, the seated cable stomach pull. And then number three is a low scat shot. All right, so. Let me show you all three of those. All right guys, so let me show you the three exercises that you're doing. Uh, the first one like I mentioned is the seated cable face pull. Now, first of all, this exercise is going to target the upper traps, at right, the very top of the upper back, and also the rear delts or the back of the shoulders. For this, like I said, you'll need a uh, seated cable row machine that I'm sitting on right now. And then also a rope handle, like this. So, once you've got the rope handle, just attach it on. All right, now, to get in position, grab the rope with, a, uh, with an overhand grip, all right? So, the palm should be facing down on this. So grab the rope. Now, put your feet on the pad and then push yourself back until your legs are almost straight. There's going to be a little bend in there. From here, you're going to lean back slightly. Now, as you can see, my back's kind of at an angle here. This is where you want to keep your back, right here. During this exercise, try not to rock forward, or try not to come forward, try not to rock back as you're pulling or anything like that. So, once you're ready to go, then all you're doing for this is pulling the rope towards your nose. All right, now as you pull, you don't want to shoot your head forward like that, so keep it back. You're pulling the rope forward, letting the elbows flare out as you do so, and then bring your arms back in. Okay, pull back towards the nose, and then let your arms come back out. Pull back far as much as you can so you can get, so you can hit that upper back. All right, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise, is the seated cable uh, stomach pull. Now this one's going to target more the, the mid traps. So right in the middle of your upper back. Um, it will involve the lower and upper traps as well, but focusing more on the mid. So again, you're gonna need that rope handle, so keep it on there. Again, you're gonna start in the same position as you did for the first exercise. You're gonna hold on the rope here. Now the big difference is instead of pulling towards your nose, you're just pulling towards your belly button. All right, keeping the elbows close to your body as you do so. And if you look here, my elbows are coming past my body every time. All right, so you want to pull back, get a good squeeze, and then forward. One, two, three. Again, don't rock when you do this. Okay, that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, you're gonna need the dumbbells. Now this is what's called a low scaption. This is going to target more the very, the, the lowest part into the traps, the low traps. Um, this is something that's kind of neglected. So in order to develop a, an awesome upper back, you're going to need to target those lower traps too, the lower portion of the upper back, all right? So, we've got our dumbbells. Let me show you how to perform this. All right, so with a dumbbell in each hand, you're gonna start with the dumbbells right in front of your body, arms turned out. All right, now this right here is the starting position, standing straight up. All you're doing is pulling back. Do so, now your arms are coming back at an angle like so, not up here, right here, and not directly back. Keep it at more of an angle, right about there. Once you get back, you wanna squeeze those shoulder blades, hold it for about a second, and then back into the middle, that's one. So, let me show you from the side. 
right here, and then just pull back, squeeze, and come back in. Now, when you pull back, if you cannot hold that contraction for at least a second, pull back and your arms immediately come forward, the weight's too heavy, so you'll have to go a little lighter at that point. But do what you can, go as heavy as you can for each exercise. Now with this, I suggest you do about 10 reps of each exercise, performing them with no resting in between, you'll rest afterwards. Uh, I like to rest about 45 seconds to a minute, I mean, even 30 seconds if you run a really intense workout, then keep your rest time short. About 10 of each, going as heavy as you can for each exercise, about three to four sets right there. So if you add this into your back routine, then I can, I, I can definitely guarantee you that you'll have a great, well-developed upper back, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped in some way. Um, if this di if this did if you enjoyed the video then like it all right like it also share I definitely appreciate that and most importantly subscribe that way you, I can keep you guys up to date on all the videos that I put out so thanks for watching more videos to come very soon and I will see you next time bye